Let me tell you a story. A story where a lot of old hunters that lived in the Kamura village, they speculated a powerful storm that once nearly destroyed its neighboring village. Yet this kind of storm never came. Hello, I've thought of sharing this story to some of the 5th fleet hunters who aren't so familiar with a powerful storm before the existence of Ibushi and Narwa. If we go back in time, 12 years ago, at the time of this recording of course, before the old hunters ever knew about the existence of the Kamura village, we've once lived in this one small place called the Yukumo village, which is the village of Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. This village wasn't released in the West up until Monster Hunter Generations. Oh man, the Yukumu village has a special place in my heart. Besides the Puki village of course, it's a small village residing on the mountain that's well known for its amazing hot springs. No seriously, like back then, you only need to sit down on the hot spring and it will boost your health and stamina. Also, drinking sake will give you a boosting effect just like eating dango in rice. <laughs> Zero solid food right there guys, I'm no longer complaining complaining about the dongos, let's just be grateful. Anyhow, because of the hot springs and their wooden carpentry from buildings to equipment, it became a widely known tourist destination in Monster Hunter. Just like any other village, there's a blacksmith, a general store merchant, the legendary farm we no longer have, god I miss that, a training school, cozy house, a gathering hall, also known as the hub, and the village chief. So yeah, great place to be in. However, one day, there had been strong storms brewing in near the village which then alarmed the Yukumo chief because there was an old story that a powerful elder dragon that caused catastrophic storms that wiped out an entire village in a single night. The Yukumo chief was worried. She then contacted the hunter's guild and asked for some help. And fortunate enough, that's where the old hunters came in. After a few urgent quests and hunting down Zinogre, by the way, Zinogre came down from the mountains because of that massive storm. Sad wolf, <laughs> I think it was just scared. Anyhow, we managed to meet the monster that causes all of this. This is Amatsu Magatsuchi, also known as Amatsu, the heavenly god of calamity. <laughs> this is the OG floating storm elder dragon, what's up Kushala, before Ibushi and Narwa. Speaking of Ibushi and Narwa, in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, you'll face Amatsu in high rank and in future titles, both high rank and G rank, also known as Master Rank. Look at the appearance of this heavenly monster. It's like a floating leviathan with a strange fox like face. It has two huge golden horns and Amatsu's body is pale and from a distance it looks like it's wearing a robe. Nah, forget about that. It looks more like a floating peeled cabbage. As for the movesets it has, Amatsu is a dangerous elder dragon that uses both strong wind attacks and water attacks. It also has two stages during the hunt. The first stage of Amatsu is usually what I'd like to call the warm-up phase. In this stage, Oftentimes, a Matsu will charge at you and sometimes whip you with its massive tail when you're close to it. It also uses the wind to protect itself from ballistas, but it's not as strong as Kushala's wind barrier. A Matsu will sometimes shoot you with a water cannon and two water beams if you're far apart. When semi enraged, it creates a strong twister that drags you near him, and afterward, it creates a second twister that can send you flying up in the air. You'd really want to run at this point since this move can really one-shot you. Unless of course, you're willing to take a risk. If you reach the damage threshold, you can knock down Amatsu on the ground. Which is really satisfying for a greatsword player. 
The stage 2 of Amatsu is where everything gets crazy. Once Amatsu's health goes below 40%, the color of Amatsu's cabbage-like robe starts to change. The red veins on its body starts to pulsate and glow. In the eyes, you can see that it starts to glow in yellow. Also, one of the scariest moves Amatsu does, Amatsu will fly up in the air and shoot up three massive water beams that shatter the ground. While it also does the strong twister move that sucks you in, Amatsu will now summon three tornadoes that will send you flying in the arena. Once you've managed to beat the heavenly god of calamity, you'll then start to see the dark skies clear up and witness the beautiful horizon of the Misty Peaks region. Surprisingly, it even has its own quest clear music. The rewards of Amatsu isn't so bad. It has craftable weapons for every weapon type. As for the armor stats and the skills that it has, yeah, that's for you to decide. Anyhow, Hamatsu is really one of those memorable hunts back in the days and some of the old hunters hope to see it return in one of the future generations of Monster Hunter. Unfortunately, it didn't return in the base game of Monster Hunter Rise, but we did get two new storm dragons like Ibushi and Narwa. It's still cool though, not too sure if it's going to return in Sunbreak, but let me know what you think. Hey there everyone, just want to thank you for watching all the way. We have already reached a thousand subscribers. You guys are amazing. I have huge plans for this channel, which I'll share soon. So if you want to continue on supporting me, consider subscribing. It helps a lot. Okay, that's all I have for now. Peace!